Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's design this machine part in Creo Parametric. So let's get started. And for this, first you go to new, part, solid, assign the name and say ok. Now let's start this part with this base and for this go to extrude, write datum plane, normal, switch off the datum. Now draw the center line, just like this one line from here this side now this is 128 draw circle here then line from here downwards and then tangent with this circle mirror these lines like this go to delete segment delete this segment and this segment now first we place a sketch point somewhere here and then go for dimension from here till here this is 125 this is 32 and this is 20 now say ok now the thickness is 10 say ok now my next feature is this feature and for this once again go to extrude, select this top surface, normal, draw a circle somewhere here. Now this is 100 and this is 32, say ok, downwards, this is 64, say ok. Now the next feature is this feature and for this once again go to extrude, switch on your datum, select this datum plane, normal. Now draw the line, start from here, go till mid of this, come down, go this side, then this side and close it. Now the dimension, from here till this end, it is 33, say ok. Make it symmetry. Now this is 12. Say OK. So my all add material features are done. Now I will go for remove material feature. So first I will create this hole. And for this switch on your datum. Go for hole. Select this surface. Press and hold control key and select this axis. Now this is 16. And this is through all. Now the next feature I will create is this hole and for this once again go to hole, select this surface. Now drag this handle and attach with this surface and this handle with this surface. This is 20 and this is also 20. Now the dia of hole is 10 and this is through all. Mirror it. like this. Now the next feature is this hole and for this once again go to hole, select this surface, drag this handle to this mid plane and drag this handle to this datum plane. Now from here it is 105 and this will be 0. This is through all. Now the last feature is these rounds and for this go to round, select this edge and this edge. This is 20 and say ok. And the part is done. Now to change the appearance go to view, appearance, select the proper appearance, part and select the part. Go to appearance, you can edit your appearance. One more appearance, go for intense surface, select this surface, this surface, this surface and this surface. Now to assign these kind of dimensions, 
you can go to annotate and you can use either so annotation or dimension so if you use so annotation then you can call model driven dimension you can select the dimension which you want to keep here you can reposition your dimension just like this similarly you can add other dimensions now the same thing you can do using dimension but when you use dimension then you need to select the proper sketching plane so suppose i want to put this dimension then for that you need to go to the top and then go for dimension and you can place your dimension in case of this dimension you need to select right and then you can go for dimension you can select this edge and this edge to have the dimension so this is how you can place 3d dimensions in your part now the same dimension you can add to your drawing and for that go to drawing first you add your isometric view change the scale now to add the 3d dimension first you go to file prepare drawing properties change now here you go for find search for 3d change this value to yes now you go to annotate you use show model annotations select the dimension whichever you want and your 3d dimension is done so this is how we do the 3d dimensioning for the drawing so that's it from this video so this was the machine part in creo parametric and i hope this video will be helpful now you can like this video if you find this video helpful and i'll see you in my next video thank you